to kill New York City, you've already destroyed theater, you've destroyed arts and culture. What else do you want to destroy? The restaurants are our last thread. They're hanging on a wing and a prayer. Arrest Andrew Cuomo. If anybody is out here with any qualms, it points right to Cuomo. You want to end the problem? You want to get your life back? You want revenge for your elderly that died in the nursing homes? You gotta arrest Cuomo. One of my restaurants I had to close, the Fat Radish, in July, and we had to lay off all of our staff there. Um, it's just been so tragic, especially with the indoor dining closure. We've had to do a second round of furloughs, and so many of these people need these jobs. I mean, everybody needs their job. But it's just absolutely heart-wrenching having to take something away from someone that is their livelihood, and we're not getting any support from anyone in order to retain the jobs for the employees that really need them. And if restaurants keep closing, there's going to be more and more and more people out of work, and it's just absolutely tragic. It's tragic. Recognize this is not only just restaurants and restaurant workers. This is the unpaid farmer, the florist, the sales rep that sells us beer, and so many others that are vital to the economic ecosystem. So without additional support from the federal government, the state government, Governor Cuomo, Mayor de Blasio, all the elected officials, many of whom are standing here in support of the industry, let's convert sales tax into grants to help pay for air filtration systems. Let's waive and forgive permitting and licensing fees. not fines and revoking permits. New York City will not recover unless our city's restaurant and our nightlife industry is at the core of the recovery. And these people have helped build New York City and make it what it is.